What's going on everybody, Crazy Dog, back for another video, and this will be the second of three videos coming at you guys tonight, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the Cleveland Indians. I know I haven't talked about them too much since the season began. I did, I believe, a few series previews on them, but that's about it. So, uh, figured this would be a great time to talk about them. Uh, actually, right about now, we are playing the Chicago Cubs. We're up one nothing, bottom third, two outs, and an 0-2 count. And Adam Plutko is pitching for us, going up against Chris Bryant. So, honestly, the problem with the Indians has not been the rotation or the lineup. It's been the bullpen. Now, at the start of the season, as Plutko strikes out Bryant to end the inning, the problem has not been Miller or Allen in the bullpen. Those two have honestly been the best pieces in the bullpen. But it's everyone else. Ever since we let Brian Shaw and Joe Smith go in free agency, and even Mickey Calloway, I miss him dearly. He's now in New York uh, managing the Mets. Yeah, we let Mickey Calloway go. Honestly, Mickey Calloway made this bullpen what it is. You know, but we got Carl Willis now. What you talk about, Willis? But uh, everyone but Miller and Allen look like garbage. I'm being real. I mean, it doesn't really help that people are getting hurt and we have to keep bringing up these AAA pitchers. And I'm going to be real, they're not very good. That's why they're in AAA. Now, uh, the Dolans and Chris Antoinetti and Chernoff, I know they're going to be making moves at the deadline. But I don't know if we're going to be able to afford to sit back and wait until then. We might need to make a move or two before then just to make sure that we're in a good spot heading into uh, the later part of the season. Because the Twins, they're looking uh, kind of good right now. Although they didn't look that good to start, they've started to really pick it up. And they're going to be a threat. They're going to be a problem. And if we're not careful, they're going to pass us right up. And I just don't know if we're going to be able to catch them. Although uh, the good news is our rotation and our lineup are looking absolutely phenomenal right now. I mean, of course, the rotation of domination, uh, while it's not as good as it was, it's still very good. Kluber, Carrasco, wish Salazar was pitching, but the dude stays getting hurt. He hasn't even seen the minor leagues yet. He's still uh, dealing with a shoulder issue, I heard. So who knows when we're going to see him, if at all, this year. But we got Kluber. We got Carrasco. We got Bauer. We got Clevenger. We moved Tomlin, or should I say Bomlin, to the bullpen because all that dude does is give up dingers. Literally, last night, went in for the ninth inning in a 10-1 ball game. We were winning 10-1, or 10 nothing. excuse me. We won 10-1 because Bomlin gave up a dinger. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I, was, I wasn't I was even surprised. I actually called it. I was like, this guy's going to give up a dinger. Watch. Sure enough. Doot, man, there it goes. So, whatever. I'm actually surprised he's still here. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we cut him, to be honest, because Tomlin has looked like garbage as of late. The dude has not gotten a win as a starter. And his ERA is around 8. Bruh. And you look at the other four in the starting rotation. Like, is this for real? Like, Tomlin is seriously in the same rotation as Kluber, Carrasco, Bauer, and Clevenger? And he's playing like that? Oh, my God. But, you know, uh... Rotation looks good. Lineup has really recovered after a rough start. Ramirez, 
Oh my God, he's on a tear. Then Doris looking phenomenal. Brantley, ever since he was moved to the number two hole, has really taken off. Encarnacion still trying to get going. Uh, Yonder Alonso has not looked good at all. Um, maybe he'll pick it up here soon. I think he's only hit one home run in the past few weeks. He hit like eight in the month of April. He looked like he was going to take off, and no. Honestly, I would take Carlos Santana over Yonder, but we didn't want to pay him. In fact, we didn't want to pay any of our free agents. We let every single free agent go. Every single one. Even Austin Jackson. Bruh. Even Sean Armstrong. Remember him? A lot of you Indians fans probably don't remember him, but he was the guy that would get recalled almost every day. That dude traveled down I-71 more than anybody. He knows the route like the back of his hand by now. Seriously. <laughs> but, um, yeah, lineup's looking really good. Rotation's looking really good, except for Bomlin, although he's now in the pen. Who knows who will be a number five starter now. Uh, we got Plutko on the mound tonight. He hasn't looked too bad. And then there's the bullpen. <sighs> I'm not even going to get into that again. You already know how I feel about that. But that's going to do it for this video. I'm Crazy Dog 99 By the way, if the Indians, or should I say when the Indians make a big trade, a newsworthy trade, I'm going to make a video talking about it, you know, who we gave up, who we get, you know, how they're playing, how they look, what this team's going to look like with them in the, you know, in the wherever they are, rotation or lineup or whatever. So that's going to do it for this video. I'm Crazy Dog 99 I'm going to get back to channel flipping between the Cubs and Indians game and the Cavs and Celtics game. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Let's go Cavs. Let's go Indians. Let's go Browns. And I'm out of here.